Hello, all my not privileged friends. BuzzFeed is trying to push this agenda that white males, Christians are privileged, including by this fucker. Now, a woman, yeah, that'd be obvious. Well, at least from BuzzFeed. But, ugh. Anyway, let us begin. I am an Irish American who have been oppressed for 800 years. Um, at many times in high school, people would believe a bully when they were minority. So yeah, I have been discriminated against. I have been the only white person at uh, not a room, but at the uh, bonfire party with a bunch of Mexicans. Well, at least for three hours. Then uh, a couple white people and black. Um, arrived. If you are Southern, like myself, you will be mocked for your Southern accent. Or if you're from Brooklyn. Uh, no. No one's... I have been attacked by a black guy at my high school my sophomore year because he quote-unquote didn't like my white face. And he had previously called me a Whitey, honky, and for some reason he tried to act all nice one day. He's like, "What's up, my nigga?" I'm like, "No, you." He, this guy was a total asshole to me. Uh, no one ever says they sound white, although Obama did act white. A stranger has never has touched my hair of his. Re what? No, no one's ever. What? No one asked this. This is a bullshit question. Invented by that dear white people bullshit. Yes, I am straight as fuck. I've had to come out as a liberal, which I did receive some backlash. Um, I support Obama, and people looked at me like I was fucking my sister. Which, I don't. That's, that's a Mississippi thing. I'm just kidding. My parents... Although my mother did, uh, was afraid that I would turn gay because my social skills. Anyone who's anyone has been called a fag. Especially if you're a guy in high school who doesn't, didn't have any girlfriends. Never been called a dyke. Anyone, as I just said, I've been called every cocksucker, motherfucker, assfucker, anything. I've never, I am always comfortable some of the girls I've been with don't like PDA. I've never pretended to be just friends. I have been ostracized because of my religion. I've been told I would burn in hell for being a liberal. No. I've been violently attacked, but not for missing. Yes, I'm a man. Comfortable. Yes. Yes. I have been denied justice because of my gender. You know, they believed her. You know, she attacked me, but they always believe the woman or the minority. I mean, no, the wage gap is bullshit. I'm con. I've been attacked by girls. I've been attacked by feminists simply for disagreeing with me, and she called me a a cis white fuck and attacked me, even though she was white. I wish I was catcalled. I wish. Um, does getting kicked in the nuts by jocks count? Uh, I, no, I don't really, I mean, I'm volunteering, but that's about it. We've never, no, I don't have any student loans. I have gone to bed to hungry to skip the save money, but I've never been homeless and my parents pay all my bills. Well, not all of them. Uh, I don't rely on public, I don't buy clothes, I, I've got all the clothes I need. I have done my taxes. I have felt poor. We're like lower middle class. Um, I do pay rent to my parents. I have. I worked. I worked as a waiter at um, Waffle House. Um, I don't have internships at all. I did graduate high school. I did not have a. I did not have a license until I was twenty one. Don't want to talk about it. I've never had a roommate. Always had cable. Now we got a hundred channels. I mean, hundreds of channels. But back then, way back when, we only had like 97 channels. 
I have never left the country. I've never even gone to Hawaii. I have skipped them. I have no idea who the fuck Sally Mae is. Uh, yes, yes. And surprisingly, with all the divorce, yeah. Um, I'm short, but no. I do have social, and I used to have learning disabilities. I am so awkward. I'm surprised I am not a virgin. Um, I eat too much junk food, and I drink too much Dr. Pepper. I have been clinically depressed, and I take Zoloft since I was 11. I attempted suicide twice, including once on a bus with my ID lanyard. I've considered suicide every day, but because of my faith, you know, the whole unforgivable sin thing, I will go into hell. I will never commit suicide. I do take medication. I can afford it. I, um, sixth grade, um, this black girl on the school bus, uh, felt my arm and said, how, how much do you weigh? I said, 70 pounds. She said, damn boy, you too scrawny, you need to put some meat on your bones. Meat on them bones or something. I do kind of feel too chubby. And I have been, sh men, including myself, in shame my body, they expect us to look as buff and six-pack ripped as John Cena. Um, I, although I am attractive, um, no, I cannot afford a therapist. I'm broke, but, uh, I do take medication. Um, I have a addiction to Dr. Pepper and being angry all the time for some reason. I have been shamed for my beliefs. I have been shamed for being a Christian and being religious. Atheists, I have been attacked. Um, I think it was uh, either April or May 2011, senior year. I brought my Bible with me to lunch to read. I wasn't preaching, just reading. Um, I think I was at the part where Moses leads the slaves out of Egypt. And this atheist idiot didn't like it. And he um, said he would shit on my Bible and shove it down my neck. And then he attacked me. And they threatened to accuse me with assault just because I used a pencil to defend myself. What the flying fuck? He attacked me. Yes, there I go to St. Michael's Catholic Church. I am very proud to be Irish and Catholic. Oh my, yeah. I am always nervous at the airport that either I'm going to get shot by Allah Akbar, ISIS fucks, or um, the FBI is going to, you know, go completely Gestapo. I do not have a passport. I have been called terrorist because I am a liberal Democrat. Um, I'm against terrorists. Every true blooded American, whether liberal or conservative, are against terrorism. But for some reason, we're called liberals are called terrorist lovers just because we don't believe in torture or the Patriot Act. Um, yes, people have tried to persuade me to give up being religious. I have been bullied for being um, identifying once as a Sith Lord. I was bullied all my life. I've never tried to distance myself from my identities, though. Sometimes I identify cosplay as an Anakin Skywalker, and sometimes is the dark side Anakin. But I don't. I feel privileged for anything. I mean, shit, fuck, shit. You know. You live with 45 out of 100 cent points of privilege. You are not privileged at all. You grew up with an intersectional complicated identity and live. Life never let you forget it. You've had your fair share of struggles and you've worked hard to overcome them. We do not live in an ideal world and you had to learn that the hard way. It's not your responsibility to educate those more advantage than you. But, you, but if you decide want to go ahead and send this quiz, hopefully it will help. No, no, thank you. I just wanted to prove... I am a white male who is straight as fuck, but, and I have been harassed by the FBI and the police over Facebook, Twitter comments. I have been pulled over more times than I can count. I've been kicked out of football games simply for defending my point of view. Wait, high school football games. And I have been bullied. And I'm straight, white, Catholic. Just because you're, though, 
those things doesn't mean you're privileged. Rich people are privileged. Rich. Donald Trump. Anyway, people, that's my video. Like and subscribe if you want to. If not, that's your choice. Stay awesome, stay optimistic, stay American, and as always, may the force be with you. Always.